Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be talking Assetto Corsa again and how we get the best graphics out of post processing and I'm just going to show you how to go through that and use one of the mods that I really like that has just been released. Um, as ever please do subscribe if you like my videos it really does help me out as I'm growing my channel and also just a reminder I am running other mods on Assetto Corsa at the moment and the essential mods are Content Manager, Wet Mod and custom shader patch and the links are in the description below so do check those out okay then let's start so we're going to be using Adam Sol Enhanced 2.1 mod and the link is in the description below so Adam Sol Enhanced 2.1 what is it well it's a very small download that creates some post processing filters that gives a more photorealistic um, view of a set of Corsa so click on the download link click on OK for the small raw file and when that's actually downloaded you have to drop it into content manager now just remember if you've not got content manager then do check out my description below so this is simply a question of dragging and dropping the raw patch over into content manager the three green bars will light up and then click on install very quick install as you can see and then remove completed so we are now ready to change the settings in content manager now I'm actually running 1.46 which is the recommended on custom shader patch but to get this mod to work correctly you do need to be at 1.52 so as you see you click on that and it will just update the custom shader patch and we are now ready to change the post processing filters so make sure you're on the settings uh, tab there and click on a set of Corsa and then click on video and over on the right hand side here you will see the post processing filters that you can choose Adam Sol Enhanced is chosen at the moment but if I scroll down here you can see there is a number of post processing filters that I've installed previously with other patches and other custom graphics mods and again do check out my other videos if you want to understand how to install some of those mods with tutorials I've got all my settings here on maximum um, a number of tick boxes there that you can experiment with depending on how powerful your computer is there's also some settings there for your VR if you've got that installed and I am running this at 2k but clearly depending on your video card performance you can change that okay let's click on drive now what I'm going to do here is actually click on Laguna Seca and I'm going to choose a wet track now again if you've not installed the wet mod look in the description I'll show you how to do that so let's go Starting at night then, we have the wet mod on here so you can see the asphalt is wet. We've got custom shader patch on, this is all installed through content manager. We have Sol and we have dynamic lights on. Added to this we've now got the post processing filter that we've chosen and again you can choose different filters to see what you like and what kind of colour saturation and colour depth and the way that the reflections work. Whatever you like you can choose and scroll through those. Running Adam's post-processing filter I believe gives a very photorealistic set of graphics on a set of Corsa and as you can see on the replays here especially with the dynamic lighting effects and at night the reflections are fantastic. Now of course with Sol you can change day-night cycle, you can change the weather. So this is at night with the wet mod on the asphalt and clear weather. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it onto a day track uh, and let's just have a look at what that looks like too. Moving on to the day cycle then, mid-afternoon, it has rained, still got the wet asphalt with wet mod, but the reflections here and the lighting effects as you can see are very realistic. This is obviously internal into the cockpit but let's just have a look what it looks like outside. Outside the cockpit in the daytime, the colours look really clear. I think, the again, the photorealism part of this is really important. A lot of the games that you do play, uh, especially on console now, seem to have lots of graphical effects, and it does take away a little bit from what you're trying to show. This feels very much more realistic as a shader. And it does look particularly good because I'm driving one of my favourite cars here, so I do love my old cars. This is an ST185, early 90s. GT4 Celica, really great car, I've won a lot of rallies, so enjoying driving this around the circuit with these graphics.
Moving on then, so I've changed the number of settings in this gameplay footage here. So this is the same track, same time of day, different cars, obviously MX-5s here. But what I've done is I've taken the wet mod off so you can see what it looks like with dry asphalt. So this is perfect conditions on the raceway. And again, this shows the clarity of the colours and the saturation and the way that the post-processing filter is really enhancing the gameplay. Let's check out what it looks like in the cockpit. The texture detail, the paintwork, the reflections, the light bounce, the light reflection, all very good here. And again, I believe this is one of the most realistic post-processing filters out at the moment. What I would suggest is experimenting with the post-processing filters on your PC and seeing how they run, what kind of frames per second you get, what you prefer, what kind of colour saturation and also how they run with your favourite mods. So I hope you've enjoyed this gameplay, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Do check out my other videos and check out my channel for more Assetto Corsa. I also do a number of videos on Wreckfest and BMNG movies. So if you've enjoyed please do subscribe and I'll see you soon.